So I'm now recording. Here we go. This is my favourite Oasis lyrics that I think can help inspire you. Be always better than yesterday. I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. One is just for a bit of fun on a Friday afternoon, just saying we were supposed to be off to, to go and see Simon Sinek. And rather than worry about all the things that we can't do and the disappointment of not going to that, I wanted to show up and and inspire us in, in, in any way I can uh, with a little bit of fun. And it, and it will prove to you either one of two things. Either one, that I'm really winging this thing of life, that this this journey of trying to inspire others is um, purely winging it as I go. Or secondly, maybe that um, inspiration is everywhere. We just have to have the mindset to dial in and to find it. So I have a variety of lyrics. The structure I will give is say the name of the song and the album it's on. I will say the lyric and then I shall say what it means to be always better than yesterday. How that lyric will help you be always better than yesterday. So I've got my phone set up here so I can see your comments. Good to see you, Craig. Good to see you, Hayley, Tasha. There's loads of people on. Good to see you guys there. So I'll say the name of the song, the album it's on, the lyric, and how that lyric will help you be always better than yesterday. I take at least a track from every single album. There's three off Definitely Maybe, two off What's the Story, four off Be Here Now, four off The Master Plan, one off Standing on the Shoulders of Giants, one off Heathen Chemistry, two off Don't Believe the Truth, and one off Dig Out Your Soul. If you're a mathematician, you'll realize there is not 13. There's a bit more than that. But like any good gig, like any good gig, you will get an encore. So, shall we get started? I've not put these in any structure or order. They've just come to me. I've got them typed out. Um, the only songs that I really thought about were the encore, the outro. So, maybe I save the best to last. Maybe I don't. Maybe I go big. Maybe I go with a great rip-roaring start like Supersonic. Supersonic off of Definitely Maybe. And the lyric is, I need to be myself. I can't be no one else. Or maybe this Friday, the lyric for you is give me gin and tonic. But for me, Jack Daniels in hand, the lyric is I need to be myself. I can't be no one else. What this really means is obvious. It is simple. Be yourself. Be proud. You can't be anyone else. That would be a disservice to you and who you're supposed to be, your potential. What you can control is be yourself because you can't be no one else because everyone else is taken. Lyric number two is from whatever. And the lyric is I'm free to be whatever, whatever I choose. And I'll sing the blues if I want. I'm free to be whatever, whatever I choose. And I'll sing the blues if I want. This to me is all about intention not playing victim to circumstances because we always have a choice. We are free to be whatever I. And even if that is to have a little wallow and sing the blues if we want, you are always free to decide what you want to do, who you want to be, how you want to show up. And if that means to have a little wallow, then you shall sing the blues if you want. Song number three, lyric number three from Little by Little on Heathen Chemistry. And it is this, true perfection has to be imperfect. True perfection has to be imperfect because there is no such thing as perfection. You know that, I know that. Perfection will affect our ability to show up. Sometimes we stay stuck or sometimes we don't give ourselves the recognition for the greatness that we have delivered, the greatness that we have been. So let me just say this. There is always potential to do better. This is what it means when it says practice makes progress and being always better than yesterday because true perfection is imperfect. But let that gap between where you are and where you want to be 
inspire you and energize you rather than keep you stuck and unable to appreciate your own achievements. This is fun, right? It is fun. You having fun? Add some friends, get some people involved. Love to see what you're thinking about these, these quotes. Am I picking ones that you would expect to see? Tasha wouldn't want to be anybody else. Happy days. Craig loves it. Good to see. Good to see. So lyric number four comes from all around the world off of Be Here Now. And the lyric are, these are crazy days, but they make me shine. These are crazy days, but they make me shine. And what that really means is how do you respond under pressure? I've talked recently about the potato, the egg and the coffee bean. The potato goes soft under pressure. The egg goes hard and cracks under, pre under pressure. The coffee bean transforms its environment around it when it's subject to pressure. Its purpose comes to life. Like diamonds formed under pressure, true character and leadership is not in the easy good days. It is shown and demonstrated and found in the tough days, the crazy days. The crazy days make us shine. This is so much fun. This is so much fun. Hope you've got a drink. Hope you are settled. Hope you're enjoying this so far. Let me know. Craig's creating a playlist as we speak. Lyric number five comes from Stand By Me off of Be Here Now. I might mock Be Here Now, but it's secretly one of my favorites. I, I think, yeah, I've got four off of Be Here Now. The lyric off of Stand By Me is, times are hard when they've got no meaning. Times are hard when they've got no meaning. You know more about the why, you know more about the purpose. In the book by Viktor Frankl, Man's Search for Meaning, he talks about a man can withstand a man with a why or a person with a why can withstand any how. In life, we're going to hit barriers. We're going to hit struggles. We're going to hit obstacles. But it gives us meaning. It gives us a reason to keep showing up. It makes our tears, our sacrifices, our scars worth it. Because those things add to our resilience. Those things add to our character. Times are hard when they've got no meaning. Find your why, find meaning, find purpose. And it makes everything worthwhile and it makes it matter. Lyric number six comes off of the importance of being idle on the album of Don't Believe the Truth. And this one's a bit of a long one. It's I don't mind so long as there's a bed beneath the stars that shine. I'll be fine. Give me a minute, a man's got a limit. I can't get a life if my heart's not in it. I don't mind so long as there's a bed beneath the stars that shine. I'll be fine if you give me a minute, a man's got a limit. I can't get a life if my heart's not in it. What this is, is a simple reminder to focus on what we do have, not what we don't. To focus on the simple things, so long as I have a bed beneath the stars that shine, reminding ourselves it's what we do have, not what we don't have. The simplicity of life and the self-awareness to know that we have a limit. The self-awareness to know that if our heart's not in it, then we don't show up the way that we could and we should. So put your heart into it. Put your heart and soul into life. Find the things that you care about. It's not the importance of being idle. It's the importance of having things to care about, to energize you, to light your fire, to make things worth it. Number seven off of Definitely Maybe comes Slide Away, one of my actual favorite tracks of all time. And this lyric is, let me be the one that shines with you. Let me be the one that shines with you. And I view this ly lyric differently now than I ever have done before. As I grew up, the emphasis looked about, let me be the one. Let me be the one that shines. Let me be the one that shines. I've always fought to prove myself, always fought to make something of myself. And it's not until I grew as a leader and as a parent that I realized that this isn't even about me. And what it really means is, Give me the honor and the privilege to shine with you. It's not about let me be the one. 
the emphasis on this sentence and this phrase is about with you. Give me the honor and the privilege. Let me be the greenhouse. I don't need to compete. I'm going to drop my ego and I'm going to be proud of others' success. I want to surround myself with great people because leaders create leaders. And I want to be proud to shine alongside others in their greatness. I want to bring out the greatness in others because we rise by lifting others. So for me, the phrase is about giving me the honor and the privilege to shine with you. And that goes for those that we develop and go on and, and achieve more than maybe we do. It's about not competing with our own spouses and being proud to be able to shine with them. Lyric number eight is off of where did it all go wrong? Standing on the shoulders of giants. I wonder if Craig was sat here thinking if little James was going to come through off of standing on the shoulders of giants as lyrically genius, that song might not be. This comes off of where did it all go wrong? Very, very good song. And I'm coming at this one from a slightly different perspective. It's not really a, a motivational quote as such. This one's a thought provoker. Did you keep the receipts for the friends that you buy? Ain't it bittersweet? You were only just getting by. Did you keep the receipts for the friends that you buy? And ain't it bittersweet that you're only just getting by? You don't need to buy friends. You don't need to impress anybody because that's bittersweet to attract someone by being someone that you're not because friendships and relationships built on you being someone you, you are not are always destined to either leave you feeling like a fraud or unhappy on just not truly being yourself. So let that lyric be a reminder. Go and check out where did it all go wrong? Because true belonging is not changing yourself to fit in. It is simply being yourself and knowing that that is enough. Lyric number nine is off of my big mouth. Be here now. And actually, Liam blasts this one in a sense of arrogance. So guess who's going to take the blame for my big mouth? You know, he talks about slowly walking down the Hall of Fame. So who's going to take the blame for my big mouth? I tell you who, you are. You will take blame and accountability and responsibility for your words, your actions. Because if you're not owning your words, your actions, you can't change it. And therefore, if you can't change it, you can't make it better. So guess who's going to take the blame for my big mouth? You are. Your words, your actions. Take ownership, change it, make it better. Number 10. Number 10 comes off of the master plan, quite possibly one of the best B-sides in history of all B-sides. And the lyric is, I'm not saying that right is wrong. It's up to us to make the best of all the things that come our way. I'm not saying right is wrong, but it's up to us to make the best of all the things that come our way. So don't spend too much time attached to the way that you wish things were. Focus on how it is. Find the opportunity. Do your best. Make the best of all the things that come your way. There we go. That's lyric number 10. Craig didn't see that one coming. I like to keep you on your toes. I like to keep you on your toes. Lyric number 11 off of Some Might Say, What's the Story? Morning Glory. Some might say they don't believe in heaven. Go tell that to the man that lives in hell. And a part two of this lyric is, some might say that we will find a brighter day. What does that really mean? Some might say they don't believe in heaven. Go and tell the man, that to the man who lives in hell. Well, for me, that's about perspective. That's about perspective. Once we get perspective in life that, you know, we think we've got it bad and we hear the struggles of others, you know, I remember the, the first time that I spoke or I was at Mind Yourself and I heard the incredible story of Ephraim and the, the really sad story of his son um, passing away, died, you know, blue on blue, unfortunately, um, in Afghanistan. You know, hearing that, 
hearing that is is a, is a whole new game changer. It's a whole new level of perspective. So that's what it means. If you don't believe in heaven, go tell that to the man who lives in hell. Because there's always perspective to have been gained. Liam McKelvey, who was one of my interview guests recently, he had all four limbs amputated because he, he contracted meningitis at the age of, you know, um, two, I think it was. You know, it's, it's very easy for us to complain until we realize that someone else has got it harder than it, than it makes us change our own perspective. That's what it means. That's what that lyric means to me. And lastly, some might say that we will find a brighter day. That's an attitude. That's a mindset. That is optimism. Embody that. Some might say we will find a brighter day and say that with belief and conviction and go create the future. Lyric number 12 comes off of, do you know what I mean off of be here now? And this lyric is look into the wall of my mind's eye. I think I know, but I don't know why. The questions are the answers you might need. Look into the wall of my mind's eye. I think I know, but I don't know why. The questions are the answers that you might need. This reminds me the power of asking myself good questions. The power of a coach, the power of your inner coach. Ask yourself good questions. If you want better results, ask yourself better questions. Who am I? What do I want? What did I do well? What can I do better are four of the most powerful questions that I've asked myself. I don't know what questions you love to ask yourself, but the power of asking good questions is that the questions are the answers that you might need. And lyric number 13, lyric number 13 comes from another track off the master plan. And this is rocking chair. I love this tune rocking chair. And it's, I don't care for your attitude. You bring me down. I think you're rude. All my life, I try to find a better day. I don't care for your attitude. You bring me down. I think you're rude. All my life, I try to make a better day. Well, this is, you know, this is a great reminder about the importance of who we surround ourselves with. Are we a vitamin or are we a virus? Are they a vitamin or are they a virus? You bring me down. I think you're rude. Well, I'll choose to make a better day and I'll choose who I respond, uh, spend my time with. And I'll make a choice. I'll decide to make a better day. So there we go. Those are my 13 lyrics. You are now going to experience a few more bonus tracks because this is one of those where we've just rammed everything on for the bonus, right? So these, these are your bonus tracks also known as me being indecisive because I couldn't just keep it to 13 once I got running. So this one, number 14, is off of Dig Out Your Soul, and it's from I'm Out of Time. I'm Out of Time. Love this track from Liam. I think it's one of the best that he wrote. And his lyric was, If I'm to fall, will you be there to applaud? If I'm to fall, will you be there to applaud? Pay attention to those and how those people respond when you win. Do they applaud? Are people happy for your growth? Are people happy for your success or are they threatened? How do people respond when you fall? Do they applaud? Or do they reach out a hand and lift you up? Think about that. Think about that. 15 from Listen Up off of the master plan. Day by day, there's a man in a suit who's going to make you pay. Day by day, there's a man in a suit who's going to make you pay for the thoughts that you think and the words they won't let you say. Who is the man in the suit for you that won't let you say what you want to say, that won't let you be who you want to be? Is it your employer? Is it a friend? Is it a family member? Is it someone that's just hating on you on social? 
don't give them power. Don't give them power. See the man in the suit, don't give them power. Never let them stop you expressing and identifying yourself. Just don't give them the power. I think it's important to acknowledge that there will always be a man in a suit that's going to make you pay for the thoughts that you think and the words that they won't let you say. Acknowledge, accept. And don't give them that power. 16. It's good to be free off the master plan. So what would you say if I said to you, it's not in what you say, it's in what you do. So what would you say if I said to you, it's not in what you say, it's in what you do. Leadership, love, these words are verbs. They are action. It is behavior. Because after all is said and done, more is said than done. So show up, take imperfect action, and let your results and impact do the talking. Three more. These are the big ones. These are the finale. 17, Wonderwall, off of What's the Story, Morning Glory. And the lyric I've chosen off of this great song is, I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Be someone you love. Make that sentence about yourself. Encore indeed, Abby. Be someone you love. Make that sentence about you. When I was, I think, 18, 19, I got my first ever tattoo. And it's a really wimpy kind of italic writing on my wrist. But this, this song is really, really important to me in ways that I didn't really imagine. And I wrote the lyric, just the two words, live forever. Live forever, 18, definitely maybe. The lyric I've chosen off of this great song is, we'll see things they'll never see. You and I are going to live forever. We see things they'll never see. You and I are going to live forever. This to me means two words, vision and impact. Choose to see the best in things. Choose to see the best in yourself. Choose to see the best in others. Choose to see ways in which we can make the world better. Those are the things they'll never see. Show up and create that world. Be that person that we, we see. And you and I are going to live forever. That's legacy. I will live forever in the hearts and minds of people that I come into contact with, not just because I wish to, but because I show up every day trying to make a difference. And the legacy that I leave behind is all the actions that people take as a result of the love and the care and the support and the growth and the accountability that I provide people. I won't live forever by accident. I will live forever through intention. How will you live forever? This is my final song. This is my final lyric. Number 19. It's off of Don't Believe the Truth. And it's simply this. Let there be love. Suspended clear in the sky are the words that we sing in our dreams. And let there be love. Suspended clear in the sky are the words that we sing in our dreams. Let there be love. Dare to dream. Let there be love. Be someone you love. Do what you love. And be with people that you love. I give it some. I haven't even noticed this is tuned. I don't even know if this is tuned. Should we give it a go? So there we go.
we go. I'm not sure that was entirely in tune. New strings and all that. But those were my top 19, supposed to be 13, sorry about that, 19 Oasis lyrics to help you be always better than yesterday. I hope that was useful. I hope that you've had fun. I've only had a few sips of my drink and I'm high on life. What if I miss Craig McHugh? You're a big Oasis fan. Abby, Sarah. What lyrics have I missed? What would you have expected to see? What would you have expected to see? What have I missed? Nice one, old kid. Better people. me over and out thank you for joining me thank you for allowing me to have a bit of fun mixing my passion and my pleasure in terms of oasis and always better than yesterday bring it all together for your benefit um hi mum you made it but you're late you made it but you're late <laughs> i love you guys have a great rest of your friday have a great evening Make sure that you come back to me with um, your suggestions in the post uh, around your favorite lyrics and have a great weekend. I want to know which one's your favorite, which one off of Supersonic, whatever, little by little, all around the world, stand by me, the importance of being idle, slide away, where did it all go wrong? My big mouth, the master plan, some might say, do you know what I mean? Rocking chair, I'm out of time. Listen up. It's good to be free. Wonder wall, live forever and let there be love. Which was your favorite? Which one resonated most with you? I'd love to know. Until next time, let there be love. <laughs>